swing state voters as well as business executives in an election where the economy is the dominant issue. That was that Ritika Gupta there. Now OPEC Plus has decided to delay its planned oil output increase for October and November. This comes after oil prices hit a nine-month low due to concerns about the weakening global economy and slow demand from China. The group, which includes OPEC members and allies led by Russia, says that they may further pause or roll back the hike if needed. Let's discuss this further. What does this mean? The independent energy analyst Cornelia Mayer uh, joins me now. Hello to you, Cornelia. Um, so initial analysis, what does this mean that they've, they've implemented this delay? Hello, Lucrezia. I mean, I think it's the only reasonable thing. You saw we are, we, oil prices today are lower than they were at the beginning of the year. And there was just this, this it's just, it's really been a downward trajectory. Um, you had very weak um, economic data, PMI data out of China, which didn't help. The U.S. economy is also sput sputtering a wee bit. So that didn't help. Um, so they are, like everybody, the Fed is looking what will happen with interest rates, because if there's an interest rate cut, that will help demand. But for the time being, they felt they couldn't afford to put e more oil on the market, on a market that, although we see drawing of inventories, but it just it's just a very nervous, anxious market. OK, what has this done to futures then, oil futures? Well, yeah, it's 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 done to all futures exactly what it's done to the, to the spot price. Uh, they're going they they've been going down. What it's also done is you see a lot of the of the financial money in there. Um, you you see over the last two months a lot of the long position by hedge funds and other financial investors have been cut and reversed into, um, um, into short into shorts. So there is just currently not that much appetite for oil also in the financial community. What does this mean? So that's at the, the business end of things. But for, for us, people at the pump, what, what does that mean? What does all of this mean? Well, for us, the people at the pump, they will be happy if the oil price is lower. Um, but mind you, uh, because what you don't want to have also is too much volatility. And that is what OPEC has managed very well. You know, if you're an airline, you don't want the oil price to today be very low, tomorrow very high, and then go to very low again. You, you can't plan anything. So OPEC has managed that very well over the last 20 years or so uh, to bring stability to the market. However, it has come at a cost because obviously they're giving up market share to other people. You've seen the US, Brazil and Guyana coming in very aggressively with new, with new barrels. Um, you also, so you, you have essentially, uh, it's, it's not good for your, for your production and for your standing in various markets. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is today producing less oil than it did 20 years ago. Goodness. OK, um, Colleen, your mayor, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Lucrissa.